world of you to Archie here with another video on I'm gonna call it the Burbank Hill and within this Burbank Hill has been very numerous counts of stuff that I have found also leading another part to my Wachusett Valley Triangle. Right now we are on uh, Route 31 in Fitchburg, Mass. <clears throat> now along this ridge used to be a brook. Very strong running brook. And for people to say that Indians did not live throughout the towns of Fitchburg, Lemonster, I mean, there, they have been said that there wasn't many tribes out here, but I'm starting to believe there was more, I mean, I think in my case that there was more tribes. I mean, not much tribes, but enough to make this a, you know, marker in history but just because stuff wasn't found doesn't mean these Indians didn't live here and I think personally in my own thoughts and theories that they didn't do much battle throughout these towns that's why they didn't find much there wasn't much meadows around here either to find good quantity of animals but I'm putting together a piece now that you know that I've been studying this part of the town I've done a few videos and as you can see as we come up to the rotary here the, you got Ringe Road you have uh, John Fitch Highway over here which not too far going down this way is where I there's a church and where I <clears throat> found a big white orb light and that's why I'm doing this video today the big white orb down there by the church is starting to give me the reason to believe that this area could be a uh, area that once held big and the way they're coming out with stuff now on Bigfoot is insane, but it, it's starting to make sense. And of course, here we have Burbank Hospital. Of course, this video is made for the people that do not know this town. And as we roll up Burbank Hill here, not only did I see that big orb, but over here, two years ago, I think it was two years ago or last year. No, it was it was 2015. Comes up this hill. I was at a uh, meeting, and there had to have been at least 2,000 crows along the ridge here in the snow, mind you, in them trees over there. And it's like what? Uh, and they were squawking loud. So I mean, I'm making another video to come up here too to show you that how close all this stuff that I've been recording now coming in to make sense. And it's someone working down there. I don't want to go down there, but here is the walking trails. Like I said that I stumbled upon. I never knew they were over there and I've been in this town for 30 plus years. But of course, this once used to be a meadow. This used to be a skiing area. <laughs> Go figure during the 1950s and 60s. But as you can see how close some <clears throat> these happenings at the white orb down the way on Ringe Road 
you will run into Ashby West Road and there have been claims of people seeing what they call the Batman of Fitchburg. Big, huge, bird-like man. Although they could have seen a horn-eared owl and confused it, but I don't know. I've tried to contact that person on a website they written on and never got back. But as we drive through up oh, the missing hospital, ah, fucking place I was born, crumbled and tumbled. <laughs> Gone. Look at it now. Now it's a walking path. Crazy. Crazy why they took this down. I don't understand, but all this area leads right over to here where this big part of the woods that claim, you know, very crazy shit going on. If you walk through these woods, of course, you will end up in the uh, Revolutionary Cemetery. If you walk through them woods, I mean, look at... Before I say anything about that, look at the rock forms here. Rocks. You know, there used to be, I think, a brook that ran down once from here. And Indians used to use stuff like this for markers in traveling. But throughout these woods also, you would find supposedly Satan worshippers devil worshippers. I don't know what the hell the people were thinking back then or whatnot. I know they're out there. They're fucking idiots. But supposedly it, I, I've taken a walk through these woods one time, me, my wife, and the kids. And there was some fucking crazy shit. Wire hanging from the trees. Cans dangling. Something yeah, you'd see out of a fucking Blair Witch thing. Or like some ritual thing who knows if there was a bums out there or whatnot but hanging their cans or something to make noise but all I know I, sh I didn't have a camera at that time Jesus Christ that was a long time and up this road if you go up there to supposedly on flat rock road go up this road there's some worshipping stone that sacrifices happened on but all within this range, as you can see, this hill and where it leads. And like I said, all my life living here, I've always looked up into these woods. <clears throat> Someone once told me up in them woods, there's a set of lights. I mean, these woods expand for a while. You'd have to do a lot of walking. But that trail near the hospital there comes out on Ashby West Road and goes through a lot more. There's something else up here, like the show. There's a house up here I get a dark feeling too from. Fucking weird, strange. It's made out of stone there. The porch and everything. That house right up there. Get some weird vibes like something happened there. Still trying to look into that. But all up in this area, man. You know, there was some, it's just crazy what people have said. All that thing I was going to say about, someone had told me one time, there's like a set of lights up there. And they're red, you know, markers so planes don't smash into the side of the hill or whatnot. But supposedly there was a, I don't know how much true it is, because the guy was a fucking flake anyways. But talking about there was a tea house up there and people got slaughtered in it hanging all over the walls or whatnot. I don't know how true that story is. Don't quote me on it. That's what the guy told me, but you never know with all the satanic shit going on up there. Maybe it could have happened, but as you can see straight ahead, though, that mount right there, that is uh, where the King Philip War had taken place, and they traveled up to uh, Ontario, Canada through this way. And that's Rollstone Hill. 
all kinds of Indians have walked over that hill. Use it as a marker for the uh, Mount Wachusett to look upon it to see where they stood. And like I said, the King Philip War walked across it also. But as we continue on through this massive uh, wooded area, you have always got a vibe up in this neighborhood, always. Just crazy feeling I get. And I did one day come up here and check the out here, and there's a huge brook that runs along this place too. On off this mountain. And uh I had gone driven up there and get out of the car and there's a little path in here too. And this also leads through up that mountain up in here. And yeah, it comes along out to here and up. <laughs> People got that this side of the road confused with the other side of the road. Supposedly someone got burned up there, but it wasn't that hill. It was on the other side near going towards the uh, <clears throat> Vail, oh no, not the Vail, the uh, Revolutionary Cemetery. Like I said, I just want to show how this wood connects. You know, this way is the entrance way to the Revolutionary Cemetery. As you can see, it still runs along the ridge of this mountain, this hill that runs up through. So, but I just want to show that. I mean, <clears throat> just the damn way that this been all playing out in a roll and it hasn't dawned on me until I watch that big thing with the white bright ball of light. And that's why I wanted to do this video because I saw that big ball of light off of the John Fitch way across from the church. Floating up in the air mind you. And I was looking at it and I you know at first yeah I thought hey that looks like a flashlight flashlights got not one big round ball of light. So I'm great because flashlights don't have you know, circular into a big ball. Sorry. I saw that. And like I said now, Somehow they're coming out with this now. So all up in that area, as you can see, all up in that area, that hill runs on straight through. And it's near Indian stomping grounds. Now, what I think it could be, maybe the Indians maybe cursed that hill somehow. Or maybe they knew the Bigfoot was up there and Bigfoot just stomps that area because that's where I heard my knock also at the uh, Revolutionary Cemetery just like Bigfoot so that area like I said all due to this fact that this damn TV show coming out with that I got reason to believe oh that's another thing I had to say if you run along the woods out here and go up through the back areas and all through that way. I mean, you will eventually end up at Mount Wachusett. So them wooded areas that run along that ridge all the way through here to West Fitchburg, mind you, all lead right to, you know, right to Mount Wachusett. And there was a uh, Bigfoot sighting there by someone, so... Whether it's still out in them woods or not, which I believe it is, that's got the dead as some Bigfoot stomping grounds. And if they do exist, I mean, they're out there. I heard it. I seen the ball 
or if I went to the cemetery, heard the knock of the Bigfoot, and I have it on video. <laughs> but just putting the layout of the land and showing that, as you can see, also the Nashua River runs along the ridge of this hill. So a lot of Indians and stuff and animals use that river for friggin' squawking because crow's car so I know it was a damn right <laughs> I thought it was a fucking crow but no too deep not car <laughs> but there's the hill hill of mystery all out there the whole area I would love to know what the fuck really exists uh -huh. gotta find something but it's starting to piece together other than that YouTube nation I gotta get out of here the next video out